Hello everyone. In this topic, we'll see what is Azure External Identities. As the name suggests, external identities are the identities which are not part of your entry ID tenant. So the identities, it can be a person, it can be a device or service which are outside of your organization and not within your entry ID tenant. Those will be referred as external identities. So why do I require external identities? If my organization want to communicate or collaborate with other organization, it can be a partner organization, it can be distributors, it can be suppliers, vendors. If I wanted to communicate or collaborate with users outside of my organization, then I will use the external identities. Let us take an example and see how the external identity work. Say for example, if I have a company which is a manufacturing company and I am running my services in the Azure cloud. So this is my Azure cloud on which I am running some services. So this company is called as TailspinToys.com. So what they do basically is they manufacture toys, cars, plane, jet, and JCB. So these are some of the ties which they will manufacture and they have their own application running and they have some services and also they have some database. They have database of inventory, they have database of catalog database, they have multiple databases out of which inventory is one of the database. So now they wanted to give access to another company which is a e-commerce company so this e-commerce company is called as so this e-commerce company is called as tiptoptoys.com so this tiptoptoys.com they have users so this tiptoptoys.com can also be on azure or it can be in on prem or the users can have their own personal account it can be Gmail account or Outlook account, LinkedIn, Facebook. So these are the accounts which the users can have in this company. And they can even have an app which can connect to the database and fetch the inventory services. So once it fetches the inventory services, since this is an e-commerce company and they have to fetch the inventory from the database and simply they will list all the inventory. Okay, I have cars 1000, I have jets 2000 and I have plane 5000. So anybody external which is the users who wanted to purchase from this e-commerce site, they will be able to see the inventory what this company has, which is tiptoptoys.com. So in order to give the access on tailspintoys.com, we use B2B connection to manage the external identities basically. So the external identities can be person so we can have the person we can have the device they can have their virtual machines running so we can provide the service we can actually provide the access to the devices and service like applications right so this is how we'll be able to use b2b to give the access to external identities and once they have the identity they can only access the resources which the tailspintoys.com has given access to. So this tailspintoys.com as an admin. So this can be global admin who manages the entire Azure Entra ID tenant and he will provide the access only to the certain applications or certain services which the tip top 
toys.com can access so this is how the b2b will work if i wanted to give access to b2b i have to add the users and devices as a guest account so i need to use the guest account to give the access so once i add into the guest account the users devices or services will be able to access the resources which are hosted in tailspintoys.com now we have understood what is microsoft enter id b2b and let us see what is microsoft enter id b2c which is business to customer in case i have an platform which is running on azure cloud so let us take an example of ticketing platform which is bookmy.com so this ticketing platform has hosted their services on azure cloud so what they have they have the database they have the virtual machine and they have their application this is the front end application which is accessed by the public user so anyone who have facebook gmail microsoft account or any third party account they will be able to access the application and they will be able to book the tickets they book the tickets they take the print they can send the tickets to the email and they can also send as the qr code so this is what the application will do and the user who are public users who want to watch movie they will book the tickets using the bookmyshow.com portal now these users identity are managed by their identity provider it can be google it can be microsoft or facebook or any other third party which is supported by microsoft as a external identity partner right so these identity provider manage the individual user account now the microsoft the book my show tenant doesn't have to manage the user account here the identity provider who provides the access to all these users manages their identity which is individual identities and they will sign up to this application and they will be able to access the application basically they have been given permission only to book the tickets and print or email or take the qr code so this is what they have been given as an access whereas in b2b we are adding the user as a guest user account so in my tailspin toys dot com i need to add the tip top toys dot com so any user or services or devices which are coming from tip top toys dot com i need to add them as a guest account in my tailspin toys dot com tenant right but here the identity provider manages the individual user id but in b2b the tailspin toys dot com will manage the tip top toys dot com accounts as well as a guest account so that is the difference between b2b and b2c hope you are clear with b2b and b2c let us continue with the notes so in b2b what exactly will happen is we can collaborate with external users by letting them use their preferred identity to access the saas application or custom developed application so b2b collaboration users are represented in your directory so this is very important so b2b collaboration users are represented as i said the users who are part of tiptoptoys.com will be represented in tailspin.tailspintoys.com 
as a guest users. So this is what it is mentioned. So as the guest users. So there is also something called as B2B Direct Connect. In B2B Direct Connect, there is a two-way trust relationship between two organization or multiple organization. It can be example.com and sun.com. So these are two different companies. If there are some issues or there are some activities which are going on sun.com and the users who belongs to example.com wanted to come to the Microsoft Teams meeting, they will be provided with the access. So they will be able to join the Teams meeting. They will be able to chat with sun.com enter ID tenant. So this is the B2B Direct Connect. So B2B Direct Connect currently supports Teams shared channels, enabling external users to access your resources from within their own instance of Teams. So example.com as their own Microsoft instance of team and there are users who wanted to join the sun.com teams channel they will be able to collaborate with Microsoft teams b2b direct connect users are represented in your directory say you have allowed example.com users and you have the Microsoft enter ID tenant in sun.com they will be represented in your enter ID tenant they are visible from within the Teams shared channel and they can be monitored in Teams admin reports as well. Let us see what is Microsoft Azure Active Directory Business to Customers. In Business to Customer, as we have discussed, we will publish the applications. So we basically publish the SaaS application or any custom developed application and we will provide the access to the public users who wanted to access our application. And these public users can be third party organization or consumers or customers. So they will be provided with the access for your SaaS applications. Based on the requirement, how you want to provide access to the external organizations or external customers or consumers or third party vendors, suppliers, there are multiple methods. You can use B2B, B2C, or B2B direct. So this was an overview about Microsoft Enter ID B2B, B2C and B2B Direct Connect. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care.